here's another circuit this time we put a 10 volt ramp 10 volts per second ramp input so what this is saying is if we were to plot the voltage going into here it's going up by 10 volts every second Oops, every second so after one second it's 10 volts after two seconds it's 20 volts and so on a ramp input in practice of course it's going to ramp to a point so if I were to actually draw this circuit out it would ramp up to a fixed voltage say and then maybe carry on at that but we're just going to initially consider the voltage ramping up effectively to an infinite voltage which in practice isn't going to happen so we're putting this ramp voltage across a capacitor and resistor in series with each other a bit difficult to predict exactly what's going to happen here because we've got two things to consider one that the voltage is increasing and one that the capacitor is charging so we've got two rising effects here and so which is going to be the dominant effects we're going to work out when we do this so the transient is going to be interesting the transient because of course for this input it's not transient it's going to continue to change isn't it it's not going to settle down to a steady state in this case because the voltage is continually increasing but we can still use Laplace transforms to predict what this circuit will look like or what the current rather through this circuit will look like and we use exactly the same idea so we use our transforms we know that the voltage is 10 volts per second and we know that the resistance is well the resistance in s space we can do that straight away can't we we've got one that's quite straightforward this time that's just 20 plus 1 over 0.01s so using our table of transforms what does vs turn out to be yep 10 over s squared so ramp transforms to that if we look back at our table of transforms you can see it here hopefully I can find it so ramp voltage transforms to something over s squared in this case 10 over s squared same ideas as before then is equals vs oops, over zs so what's Vs? 10 over S squared. And what's Zs? <coughs> 20 plus 1 over 0.01S. We can tidy a bit. Uh, if I were to multiply top and bottom of this particular part of this bottom fraction here by 0.01s I'd get rid of this 1 over 0. I just have 0.01s on the top so let's do that again we often find that by doing that we make it look easier so I'm going to multiply every term in this fraction this second fraction by 0.01s get 10 over s squared multiplied by 0.01s over 20 times 0.01s plus 1 sure so now I can cancel an s top and bottom to leave me with 0.1 over s into 0.2s plus 1 let's look at this look at this last bit recognizable I hope okay we've got two terms one involving s and one involving 0.2s plus 1 exactly the same as we had before but look at what we did to get there we started off with this idea of a ramp voltage this time 
over a capacitor in series as a resistor. And then we did exactly the same thing as we've done before. We divided the voltage by the resistance, inverted the resistance so we can multiply, and then tidied up. This time we noticed that S has cancelled. And lo and behold, by multiplying through by things, to, you know, multiplying through by 0.01s to get rid of this, make it look better, and so on, we can end up with something that is quite simple. And it's hopefully something you recognise is that we can again use partial fractions on. So we let 0.1 over s into 0.2s plus 1 be equivalent to something over s plus something else over 0.2s plus 1. And we use our method of partial fractions to find a and b. So I'll pause this. How do you do that and finish it off? So, method of partial fractions, what do we do? We cross multiply effectively, equate numerators to give us this 0.1 equals a 0.2s plus 1 plus bs is this, let s equal naught and 0.2s plus 1 equal naught, which gives us s equals minus 5, again s's and 5's, so we end up with b being negative 0.02 and a being 0.1, so we plug them back in and we end up with is equal to this, hopefully. Now all we've got to do is use a table of transforms to write down what it is, that will be our function. Therefore, it equals 0.1 over s transforms back to just 0.1 minus, and if we look at the, that would be a, a, a 0.02, oh, sorry, backtrack, backtrack, yeah, what have I not done? Yeah, I've got to get rid of this 0.02, have I not? Because it's just S on its own. Is it? Right. Oh, good. Yeah, and what is it underneath? 0.2S. So my mistake, okay. So I've got to get rid of the 0.2 and so how do I do that? No? No? Divide everything by 0 0.2, yes. Divide everything by 0 0.2, top and bottom, on that second fraction. So I end up with IS equal to 0 0.1 over S minus, well, 0 0.02 over 0 0.2 is a tenth, isn't it? Yes, it is the same as multiplying by 5, yeah. Divided by 0 0.2, I get S. Divided by 0 0.2, I get 5. S plus 5, again, that's my S's and 5's. <laughs> Cannot avoid them. So now we can write down what IT is. 0 0.1, 0 0.1 over S transforms back to 0 0.1. E, so the number in front of the E is 0 0.1, E to the minus 5t. So that's our function. We can take 0 0.1 outside a bracket actually and have the IT equals 0 0.1 into 1 minus E to the minus 5t, which is what? What sort of function would we expect to see if we plotted that? As t gets bigger and bigger and bigger, what's 1 over, because minus means 1 over e to the 5t, as t gets bigger and bigger and bigger, what happens to 1 over e to the 5t? 
smaller and smaller and smaller until in the limit it becomes zero. So effectively, eventually, this term is going to disappear and we're left with just one. This is an example of a growth to a limit, a growth to a limit curve of 0.1. Oops, so if I were to actually plot that, I'd end up with an exponential growth to a limit of 0.1. Which is quite surprising, isn't it? Like this, okay? Exponential rise to a limit, let's convert it back to, let's compare it now with this circuit. So what we're saying is, for this circuit, the current is going to end up as a steady current. We've got a ramp circuit for the capacitor in this circuit. So the fact that it ends up at the steady state is quite surprising to me. So, over to Mr. Pets. <laughs> so, predicting this isn't easy. So, we're saying that it's going to 0.1. Ah, doesn't like noughts, is it? 0.1. And we've got effectively the capacitor charging up, but it's being charged, the voltage at which it's being charged is increasing at the rate of 10 volts per second. Yeah. So, the fact that it settles down to a steady current. Yeah. Anyway, we'll stop that there.